Hello, hello everyone. Good day to you. Welcome back to this edition of Our Positive Word. I hope you are well. It's a pleasure to see you again. True sacrifice. That is the focus for this session today. Sacrifice, as a word, means to forego, lay down, give up something, offer, surrender completely. It is an act of offering to please, the surrender of something valuable for the sake of something more important. It is the loss of some of some sort, you know, without gaining anything in return. Sacrifice is a huge deal. It is not an easy task. I think it's safe to say that we now live in a world where people are more unwilling to sacrifice anything, no matter whether the reward or outcome might yield something beneficial for others or themselves. Sacrifice is something that we barely see today in this world of selfishness, me, I, my culture. Selfishness, selfishness has eating deep into the fabric of society that the majority of people are prepared to see communities disappear as lives are wiped out than to do something which is which might be in their power to do to stop such things from happening. I tell you only a heart given to the will of God can display real sacrifice a person who is keen on offering what is most valuable to him or her for the common good of all, that can only come from a place of a heart that is sold out to God, the God Almighty, the creator of the heaven and the earth. We are told in Psalms 52, or is it 51? Verse 17 anyways, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise that from the King James Version. Let me read this from my favorite translation, the easy to read. The sacrifice that God wants is a spirit, a humble spirit. God, you will not turn away someone who comes with a humble spirit and is willing to obey you. That's the God we serve. He wants a broken heart, a humble spirit, someone who is ready to do his will, to obey him. God demands a spirit of humility, total surrender in all things to his will and purpose. I am extremely grateful for the sacrifice of Jesus who gave his life so that I could have access, direct access to the throne of the Almighty God. That was the ultimate sacrifice, which bought our redemption on the cross of Calvary. Jesus paid it all. We have all, all been called to be like Christ, not to literally give our lives, maybe in some cases, but to give our lives to our Heavenly Father who can use us to be his hands and feet, his eyes, here on earth. True sacrifice comes with lots of prizes, lots of comfortable, convenient things that we must give up in order to fully offer our lives, lay down our lives to God. The call today is for us to search our hearts on how prepared we are to make this sacrifice to be the ones who would be vessels in the hand of the Creator in this dying world, desperately searching for rescue, for redemption in all the wrong places, people and products. We must first offer our hearts to be purified in order for us to become broken enough for the Master's use. Are you ready? Are you willing to be one of those 
who would sacrifice honestly in humility. It is my prayer that God will show us what true sacrifice really is and to help us to trust him enough to surrender our own for his utmost. I remember also those precious folks, individuals who are truly actively sacrificing themselves on behalf of others. We have them in the name, in the form of missionaries, foreigners working amongst hostile communities. May they be granted strength, boldness, protection, provision, and encouragement wherever they are. Amen. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. As you truly decide on how best you can sacrifice or be surrender to the Most High God. Be blessed.